ways of passing arguments to functions in C. What do you mean by call by reference and call by value method? And what are the advantages of each method? Let's try to understand these concepts in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Link Frequency and I'm Aishwarya Patra. This video is part of a course that is C Programming for Absolute Beginners 2022. Without any further delay, let's get started. In our previous video, we discussed about functions and understood it with the help of example program. In our today's video, we will discuss about the different ways to pass arguments to functions. In general, there are two ways to pass arguments that is actual argument and formal argument. The variables that are declared in function prototype or definition are known as formal arguments. These are similar to local variables that are present inside the function. Just like local variables, the formal arguments are destroyed as soon as the function ends. The screen represents an example of function prototype where num1 and num2 are the formal parameters. Now moving ahead to understand about actual arguments. The values that are passed to call function from the main function are known as actual arguments. Actual arguments can be a variable, a constant or an expression. The screen represents the example of function call where theta1 and theta2 are the actual arguments. In short, you can remember as actual arguments or parameters are the parameters that appear in function call and formal arguments or parameters are the parameters that appear in the function prototype or declaration. Now let's move ahead to understand what do we mean by call by value method. Call by value method copies the value of the argument into the formal parameter of that function. Therefore, change made to the parameter of the main function will not be affecting the argument. Which in short means the value of actual parameter is copied to the function's formal parameter and the two types of parameters are stored in different memory locations. The screen represents the example of swap program which is written using call by value method. If you see the output, the actual value that is data1 and data2 remain unchanged even after exchanging the value of num1 and num2. In call by value method, we cannot alter the value of actual variables through function calls. That is, original value cannot be modified. Actual and formal arguments will be created in different memory locations. Now let us understand about what do we mean by call by reference method. Call by reference method copies the address of the argument into the formal parameter. The address is used to access the actual argument which is used by the function call. It means the values or the changes in the parameter is altered in the passing argument as well. Which in short means actual and formal arguments are referring to the same location and any changes made in the function actually reflects on the actual parameters. The screen represents the example of swap program which is written using call by reference method. If you see the output, the actual value of data1 and data2 gets changed when we interchange or exchange the value of num1 and num2. In call by reference, we can alter the value of variable using function call that is, original value can be modified. Actual and formal arguments will be created in same memory location. Moving ahead, let us understand the advantages of using each method. Firstly, advantages of using call by value method. It reduces the confusion and complexity of the code. This method doesn't change the original variable. The value of actual parameter or the argument is passed on to the formal argument. Therefore, any modifications in the formal argument will not impact the actual argument. Hence, whenever a function is called, it will not impact the actual content of the actual argument. Now, moving ahead to understand about the advantages of call by reference method. Function can change the value of the argument. It does not create a duplicate data, which in turn helps us in saving the memory space. It also assists in avoiding changes which may occur by mistake. In this method, there is no copy of argument, hence it is processed much faster. So this was all about call by value and call by reference method. For any queries, you can surely comment down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you could enjoy the video content. Consider subscribing to our channel Link Frequency. And also don't forget to share our videos across your connections. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.